Alrighty, so I was thinking about doing this uh, little video tutorial here that uh, basically just shows you how to play Starbound because I feel like a lot of people are just overwhelmed by the game when they first start out. So you start out with character creation, you go to a single player and click on a character slot and it brings you to this character creation. There's actually quite a bit of stuff that you can do. I'm going to make a high level here. Uh, let's just put some random fins on there. Uh, Rackenburglar. There we go. Mud Rackenburglar. Or not. That, that was weird. Okay. Oh, okay. Here he is. Oh, made two. That's interesting. So, maybe, once the game starts. Fish out of water, drifting in space, blah, 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 serve your ship. Shirts your ship storage. So you go up to storage and press E. Shift click it, and it'll automatically go in your inventory. I thought that was pretty nice when I first started. Uh, crafting table. Teleport down to the planet. Go over here, mouse over it, and press E. Once you do that, you go down to the planet, and this is a mushroom planet. I hate mushroom planets. Because you can never find a tree. All you can find are giant mushrooms. Ah! So, this game is actually really hard right now. There's a balance update coming out pretty soon that should balance out the leveling quite a bit. Because right now you just go into the game and you get wrecked by everything. Like, I think everything will do like maybe 12 or 13 damage to me right now. Like if I went down into this temple down here, which never happens right away. You never find one of those. Well, at least I never do. Um, and there's these giant mushroom trees again. Uh, great. Um, like, everything does about, like, 12 hits, but 12 damage a hit. But, like, when you start out, you gotta get your uh, stuff as quick as possible, and uh, it's just so hard. But the balance update should help all that. And forgive me, I do go on rants quite a bit. I'll try to edit those out for the most part, but it might not happen. Uh, so basically what you got to do is you got to wait for them to charge you and then dodge backwards and swing your sword at them. I need to find trees. That's why I hate getting a mushroom planet as your first planet. You got to find a tree somewhere. It's because you need to make a crafting table. Ah. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Ow. Okay, so apparently it only does 10 damage when you start out. Oh, hey, hey, you dropped alien meat. You need alien meat for a quest starting out, so. And there's this matter manipulator. It's so slow. And you can download a mod to make it faster, but it just... I don't like modding games. Unless, like, my character gets deleted, I'll mod it to get him back. But, I don't know. I just don't like it. So, the search for trees continue. I might edit out some of this just because I feel like it's kind of boring watching me search for a tree. But I do like to rant, so that might be kind of fun to see. Run, 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 run. And if you chop down this giant mushroom, you get a bunch of smaller mushrooms. So, fun, tra fun fact. There's copper, which sucks for mining. Those are friendly monsters. I keep smacking them because I thought they were evil. Finally a tree. Yes. Alrighty. And this matter manipulator. Oh, it's just garbage. Garbage. Tree and... 
go. All right, crafting table time. So you hit C and bring up your crafting table. You can also go over here and hit the little thing, but I, hit, I think hitting C is so much easier. Just make enough to make a crafting table because you need yours to make a campfire later. Is the next quest. Obtain some alien meat with a bow. You're supposed to kill a monster with a bow, but some for some reason in this update you can uh, get meat without a bow. I don't know. But we are going to cook some meat. I gotta clear out a space for my crafting table because the crafting table is about three blocks wide. Maybe four. Yeah, four blocks. Yeah, four blocks wide. I need a campfire. Campfires. Two blocks, so I can put it there. And then I cook my alien meat. Shift click, and it'll go directly in there. That's nice. Hit the cook button. It cooks really fast. Shift click it again, and it'll go back up there. Need a furnace. So, you need cobblestone. This is by far the worst part of doing the quests. Cobblestone takes so long to get enough cobblestone to make a furnace. Just so long. There's that dragon thingy. Let's see here. Furnace, 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 where are you? Furnace. What do I need? That's a metal working station. That's different from furnace. Boop 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 boo. Stone furnace. 25 cobblestone. I have 12. And a campfire. I'll just take that one. Now, restoring health in this game is actually kind of difficult. You need to make bandages or find uh, med kits is the easiest way to restore health. You can also cook at a uh, cooking table, which I'll show you how to make later. But this is just kind of a quick video tutorial on what you need to get started. I shouldn't say quick. It's not going to be quick. I only have 22. For some reason, I thought that said 5. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah, I can't fire. Stone furnace. Tame two times iron ore and smelt it to make an iron bar. Oopsies, that's not it. And your hotbar, you can scroll through things using your scroll wheel, or you can press the corresponding number. Uh, to find things. And this is kind of interesting. See, I have the flashlight equipped. I can shift and I can equip something in my other hand too. So I have a stake and a flashlight. So if you find like a one handed weapon, you can equip it and your flashlight or it and the shield. There's meat again. I'm just having very good luck, except for the tree thing. digging to find the to get that iron because that's what you need for the quest Grr. there we go iron ore times two get some coal because that's useful for making torches ah oh, jeez so long why does it take so long thought about using video, but I feel like you guys don't need to see me for this. Or rather, my shadow, because I don't have enough light in my room. Stab! I'm gonna die. 
I think when you eat a steak, you should get more health, but it doesn't work like that. Smelt. I always gotta make sure you're m mousing over the right thing. And then the distress beacon, you don't want to do right away. Uh, it's more important to build a house, which I should probably do. Build out a pack dirt. I wish there was a craft all button. They they need to put that in, or I need to put it in. I don't know. I might mod. Uh, but I need drag. You have two slots. One is blocks, and the other is your crap. All your uh, backpack items, the useful items. Blocks are pretty much the all you need for blocks are as uh, building. Uh, shift click to place only one block. That that's also very useful. <sighs> Your character is four blocks high, so you need four blocks for a door. Obviously. <sighs> Rawr! And everything levels up at nighttime. So, instead of dying in like three hits, I will die in one hit now, because I only have two health bars. Also, fall damage is really overpowered before the up balance update, so be careful, because you can die from fall damage. I've done that more than once. I need ten of these, I believe, to make a... Pickaxe, and then I can get a whole bunch of them really fast because pickaxe is so much faster. Oh my gosh. Don't even know. Let's see here. Oh, I can make an iron lantern. That's useful. Not. Let's see here. enough stuff to make a stone pickaxe. I need more wood planks. Pickaxe. There you go. Now I can replace this matter manipulator with my pickaxe. And so much faster. Plus it mines in a 3x3 area instead of a 2x2 which is really nice. Something that I wish happened in uh, Terraria that doesn't. See this little bar down here? Yeah, if that goes down, you will freeze to death. Rather annoying, actually. I'm gonna go exploring, because I wanna die. Show you guys what death looks like. Are you friendly? Oh, must be friendly. Cultists. Cultists will murder you. Ergo. This is what dying looks like. I'm a fish, so I start out as an egg. And then I grow into one of those things. I guess you're more of a frog. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna stop playing now.